Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to build the dashboard into the Amazon QuickSight. So to start with that, you need to be subscribed to the Amazon QuickSight in a AWS account. Remember, there are two versions of AWS QuickSight. One is standard version, one is Quick, uh, enterprise edition. Both are paid, but you have to be very careful about the cost okay let's start building the let's start building the dashboard in the quick site so just to start with that once you are inside the quick site you will be able to land on this page and where you will see like these are the key things so data set is like you have to connect the quick side to the data set this is the analysis where you will prepare like widgets uh, for a dashboard and this is the final dashboard which you can uh, embed in your websites you can share with the people in your organization so these are the three things we're gonna learn today so to create a new data sets let's click on the new data set go to the so these are the old kind of like different kind of data sources where quick site can connect to so today we want to just see how to build the dashboard using s3 data set so click on s3 data set you have to give the name like s3 row data 2407 is the like today date Today month and I will say like okay this is. so to connect with the S3 it's gonna ask you a manifest file so what is your manifest file manifest file is give telling the information to the quick site where are the files in S3 so I have prepared a manifest file this is what so this is BT course bucket name and under these prefixes I have these two files and another setting like you have to tell like this is the CSV format delimit delimit risk uh, like single quotation mark test qualifier contain headers equal to true so I have these files so these four files are, are like available over there so data 01624 data 20624 so I am gonna add another two file here as well so let me see where where this is is it available in s3 or not So row data year month equal to six so now we have four file over here already available and i have i'm gonna update the file's name also 2706 2706 and then data 2806 So this is the JSON file it must be named with the JSON file and now I just want to show you what's the content in these files so this is all the file are similar only the date is different and some attribute value I have changed so this is the first column which represent date this is the time this is the equipment ID in a data center so we are just labeling them equipment 1 to equipment 17 this is the equipment name so a data center can have like web server three web server are there three app server are there oh sorry we have five six app server here we have three db server here so like you can see these these and these we have fire sensor in a data center we have temperature sensor humidity sensor ups is all these kind of equipments are there in a data center we have given their type also web server app server 
<clears throat> database server and we are giving a code like sensor for sensors and ups is this one we are capturing the attribute name right so what parameter uh, we are capturing this is the cpu utilization storage used like 500 size data like hard disk is attached to the server but attribute value means 10 10 means like this is the storage used so far so far so 419 gig is still left memory used 10 and we can say like okay so for this also 16 gig uh, ram is attached to that cpu utilization out of 100 percent it's 10 percent so same these kind of parameter are there smoke detected zero for no and one for yes temperature ideally should stay below 20 humidity is current value is 10 ideally should stay between 40 and 60 so i will say about memory used is like max memory size is 16 gig server <clears throat> okay so now we're gonna start uploading this so here we go in the go to the quick site new data set upload manifest file so we will go here data analytics data files manifest.json upload it here now connect So now this one is saying like table name is going to be S3 row data estimated table size is this and start visualizing this. So before coming to here, I'm gonna go to the again quick site and want to show you okay this is the data set you can see a few seconds ago we have created this so now on top of this we're gonna make analysis so just in analysis you can start a new analysis here a new uh, so I'm gonna choose this data set use in analysis click on the create so let's start on that so first one uh, I want to put a donut chart so you just go here hold on, in. Hold on a minute. okay so I will start with this donut chart okay so this is donut chart yeah this is what i want to do now in the donut chart i want to see like how many equipment types are there so let's start with this okay so when i put it so we have like total 92 uh, count and here it's showing like we have 12 sensor 8 UPS 24 app server 36 database server 12 web server so this is one chart and now let's say I want to add horizontal bar chart also So this one I'm gonna add here on y-axis I want to see again the equipment type so all these are the attributes in the file so you have to just drag and drop over here so when it starts showing add just then leave your mouse 
so it's showing this web server count again database server count app server count ups this one so we have two visuals now ready so we can delete these if i click on this and if i i think this one we added by mistake so we can delete them delete delete so we have now two visuals available here let's try to add one more visual then we're gonna show or publish that So what we can add over here I'm just trying to see like what could be the good combination here yeah so that was donut chart and let's say I want to add a pie chart pie chart is showing me like group by equipment name if we group by equipment name how does it show yes so this chart is showing us again same count eight ups temperature sensor fire sensor web server so all these are the equipment element showing that you can see like it's very quick and it's easy so as long as you understand your data very well then it's gonna do the magic for you so i just want to add one more uh, visual and then we're gonna publish the dashboard so let's say this one uh, maybe gauge chart we can use to show the cpu utilization what they write something so target value is this attribute name and we go by equipment type i just want to see like do we have have anything max median or something Maybe data is not still yet ready for a uh, gauge bar. So gauge bar is mostly like I want. Uh, maybe in <clears throat> next video I'll see like how we can use because I want to use it for CPU utilization. So data shape is not there. So this one is just a basic how if data is ready you can quickly publish the dashboard in few seconds so let's say we publish it here we can give like name to it dashboard one and then publish the dashboard so your dashboard is ready so if you go here on the home page of quick site click on this dashboard and this is the dashboard we created today so you can share from here share dashboard share this video so this is a basic quick dashboard which is connecting to s3 data and showing the visuals to you. Thank you.